Well, Senator wow. Florence Itagua <laughs> is the woman to beat any time, any day, as far as fashion and style is concerned. Plus, a great humanitarian, yeah. too. And she yeah. dances well. That's the part <laughs> I love. You know? I, I wish I, her. <laughs> you know? Are you sure if you get to that age, you'll be dancing like that? I hope. <laughs> I pray. <laughs> I wish her a very happy birthday. Yeah. All right, we extend that same warm regards and greetings. And cheers, of course, the founder of El Shaddai Bible Church, Archbishop Olarinwaju Obembe. He marked his 60th birthday in a very special way to enjoy it. Stepping into the Diamond League is not only a testimony of how he's loved by God, but also by personalities who've come to share the joy of the day with the founder of El Shaddai Bible Church, Archbishop Olan Riwaju Ubimbi. It has been a remarkable 60 years, so says the celebrant. And looking back at how far he has come, he attributes it all to the grace of God. Today is a day of celebration for me. Having spent over 21,900 and something days, that is an unusual act of God's grace in my life. And um, like somebody said in Nigeria, if you are privileged to cross 40 and 50, you should roll out the drums to celebrate, particularly considering the heterogeneous forces, the centrifugal and centipetal forces working simultaneously. Attaining this milestone, one would have thought of a grand celebration. But for the Archbishop, it's a day of thanksgiving for which he invited only close friends and family. Today is just a day to, uh, to give glory to God. It's a day of appreciation, a day of celebration, a day of dedication, and a day where we have received God's divine mandate. Archbishop Onlan Riwaju Obembe was one-time president of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, Lagos State Chapter, between 2002 and 2005, a period a lot of people believe recorded an unprecedented growth of Pentecostal churches across the state. It's a feat that earned him the PFN Meritorious Service Award during the association's 30th anniversary last year. We are going to partake of this day and we rejoice as the Lord and we shall be blessed with it in Jesus' name. Senator Oluremi Tinubu was amongst the dignitaries who came to celebrate with the Archbishop. Archbishop Obimbe is a man of many achievements. He holds three distinctive doctorate degrees in missiology, systematic theology and Christian education. Apart from celebrating being alive to see this age, it was also an opportunity to celebrate his achievements. My life has been punctuated with the grace of God at every point, on a daily basis, to the extent that even among the College of Bishops globally, I am referred to as a, as a bishop of great grace, because everything that has accrued to me has been the product of God's unmerited kindness. For a man passionate about his country, he frowns at the present security and economic situation in Nigeria. Our leaders have led us without divine counsel. They do not, they, because they did not relate with God in a way that they would receive instruction, they could not fabricate, they could not in any way even postulate micro and macroeconomic stability. Look at our historical past. One government will come with a policy, another one will come and want to prove that I mean, there's this holier than that attitude that in trying to convince the populace that you are better than the perfect, you spend unnecessary time doing things that are unnecessary instead of concentrating. That most government, you cannot even 
pin them with one particular project. On the president's fight against corruption, he commended it and advised the same level of attention be paid to other sectors. I appreciate the efforts of the president. But like somebody said, if you have 100% to spend in government, and you are devoting 80% to fight corruption, in effect, we have only 20% of your attention for meaningful development. development. That is not a good balance. The service did not end without the celebrant cutting his cake. At 60, he wants to continue to live a life of service. We're going to be more, more practical, be on the field in a more strategic way and a more effective way of reaching out to people of various culture uh, and civilization. God told me one time that I will never see you for. Even when he wants to fall into a big ditch, God has a way of bailing him out. I think God is partial to him. I pray that the, the impact he plans to live in this generation, the, the assignment God has given to him, he accomplishes them. As he celebrates this unique age, we join family and friends to wish him a happy birthday.